Okay, before we start our class, please stand up for the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, class. Before we start our class, I want you to arrange your chairs and pick up those pieces of paper under your table. Okay, very good. Please have them down. Now I will check your attendance so that I can know who are the absent. Aljan Anko. Raymond Atad. Okay, very good. No one is absent. It seems like you're very interested in my class. Now, who can um, give a summarization of our topic um, yesterday? Aljan, yes. Okay, very good, Aljan. Yesterday, we discussed all about a verb. And according to Aljan, a verb is an action word. But, before we jump into another topic, I want you to stand up again. Because I can see in your face that you're very exhausted and tired. And I want to kill that tiredness in your face. Okay, we stand up. Let's have an icebreaker. Okay, I want you to um, follow my lead. I want you to, I will teach you a karate. Okay, one, two, three, go. Do this, 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 and do the circle of life, and this. And again, clap three times. One, two, three, and this, and this. You got me? Okay, very good. Okay, five, six, five, six, seven, go. I have two hands, the left and the right. Call them a fight so clean and bright. Clap them softly. One, two, three. Clean little hands are good to see. Hey, very good. Please settle down. Now I can see in your face that the tiredness was already banished. And because of um, it is banished, I want you to get a one of crosswise. <laughs> I want you to get a one of crosswise. And in there, I want you to list all the things that you can see in the surroundings and in the earth. Use your physical touch and your sight. Okay, in this span of one minute, I want you to list and do the test. Your timer starts now. Okay, Alja. Okay, very good. Ray. Okay, very good. Okay, your time, your, it is um, time up. I mean, time's up. Okay. Please keep that, um, what you have written in the paper, because we will use that earlier. Now, is this, in this juncture, I want you to dazzle me and name all these things that you have seen, that you have seen in this paper, okay? What is this? An apple, very good. Okay, this, a bird, yes, very good. And this, Okay, very good. A boy. You said that this is a boy. Aljen, I have a question to you. If you're given a chance to name um, this boy, what name would you give? Zian. Okay, very good. That is a wonderful name, Zian. Do you have any idea of our topic today? Anyone, guys? Okay, now. To kill your curiousness, our topic for today is all about a noun. A noun refers to a thing, a person, animal, place, quality, an idea, or an action. Anything to refer to a place, a name, or quality are all nouns. And there is um there are two major qualifications or classification of a noun. And the first one is the proper noun. Proper nouns, nouns that are used to name a person, a place, or thing. Specifically, specifically that are, that are called a proper nouns. Proper nouns are a specific name of a person, a thing, or an idea. If we will say a specific, of course, let's put, take example, Erickson. Erickson is a specific name, right? And this name is called a proper noun. And as you observe, proper nouns 
had a big letter or a big initials in the in the word. And another type of noun is the common noun. Common nouns are those nouns that refer to a generic item, group, or place. Generic. So if we will talk about the proper noun, that is specific. And if we will um, say common noun, it is generic. And if we will say it is generic, um, the initials of that noun are small letter. Let us take example. Man. Man is a general term. But, if we will say it is a proper noun, man could be possibly a name of a person, which is Aljan. Aljan is a man. And it is a specific name of a man, which is man is a common noun. Do you got me? Okay, very good. Now, I want you to get again that um, paper that I have said to you the crosswise with which you have uh, written the things that you have seen in the earth or in, the, in, the, in your surroundings and I want you to um, get up there and collaborate and have a brainstorming and discuss the proper noun and common nouns to your partner and I want you to get the two the two major things that you have um, written to the um, specific paper and I want you to identify if it is a proper noun or common noun. And I want you to discuss in front. Okay, do you get me? Okay, in the span of three minutes, um, do the task. Your timer starts now. Okay, time's up. Okay, Aljan, please um, go here in front and discuss your what have you written. Okay, very good, Aljan. Let's give a hand for Aljan and to his partner. Now, in your paper again, or that one half crosswise that you have written, I want you to pick one, one thing that is closely related to yourself. And I want you to make an essay related to, the, to that noun. In the span of five minutes, I want you to make an essay or a sentence that will identify or elaborate the idea of that specific noun that you have choose. Okay? The span of five minutes, your timer starts now. Okay? Sanjan? Ray? Okay, Maria? Okay, very good. Okay, time's up. Please um, pass your paper in front. Okay. Very good. So, as what I can see in your works, you're super califragilistic, expialidociously excellent. Okay. Again, nouns or noun is reverse of name of a thing, person, animal, or anything. Proper nouns are specific, common nouns are general. Okay, for your assignment, for your assignment, I want you to search what is adjective and its types. Okay? Um, please do that in your home and because I will have a game and I will give you specific points and it's extrinsic reward for those students that will um, that will be excellent in my class tomorrow. Okay? Okay, that will be all class. Thank you for listening, and again, goodbye class. Okay, goodbye.